Let's take a look at the JSON any setter annotation, which is used to identify a method as a setter method for a map of properties. As just mentioned, the JSON any setter annotation is used to mark a specific method as a setter method for a map property. This method must be non-static and accept two arguments. The first argument will be the key and the second argument, the value to associate with that key. During deserialization, the annotated method is called and the property and values of the JSON string are passed to the method. The method should then implement code that adds the key value pairs to the map. Okay, let's see the JSON we're going to deserialize. In this JSON snippet, we have a map of country properties and associated delivery costs. We want to map this to the country delivery cost map in the inventory class. Okay, so let's switch to the code view and see the inventory class. As you can see, we have a method called add country delivery cost. This method needs to be annotated JSON any setter. Now, when the JSON snippet you just saw is deserialized, the add country delivery cost method is called. It will be passed the property and values, which it will add to the country delivery cost map. Okay, let's jump to the unit tests. In the unit test, we are reading the JSON data into an inventory class, and then asserting that the country delivery cost map has the right values associated with the given country key. Okay, so let's run the test and check that this assertion is true. And yes, as you can see, the test has passed, meaning that the add country delivery cost method was called during deserialization and the map has been set as expected. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed that. Let's move on to another Jackson annotation.